I will explain to you how to convert bytes to integer in both Python 2.7 and also Python 3. In Python 2.7, basically, there's no bytes. Their bytes is identical to string. Let's say bytes is string, and then you can get it. Okay, it's true. So that bytes, theoretically, it is just a string. How we could define the byte array? Is that okay? We can use byte array. Let's call it A is byte array. Then put bracket, and then we put two inside it. And then now, A. A is byte array, and then you can see here inside is B. B means bytes, and the number is two. So let's try another, for example, byte array and one. The first one will be let's let's call it seventeen, and then it, the other is two five five. And to see what we will get. Okay, it did. We can get the first one will be uh, one one, so that it is a hex format, and seven seventeen, and then the second one will be ff. So ff is two hundred twenty five. Now, if we want to convert the bytes into integer, and then we can have some method. In Python 2.7, it is called struct. Struct, you need to import it, and then we use the A we just claimed or declared in the above cells, and then we use this one. That the converted a is equal to struct unpack. Unpack is to unpack the bytes from first is the the format. We need to first the format, and then we call it b b, and then a. So let's. Print it. You could see here that it is converted from the byte array and then to the integer. What does it mean here? Okay, the larger sign and the double B. Here the larger means that it is the big endian number. So basically. The data is ordered from big end or most significant bit, and then little ending. It will start from the least significant bit. So, for example, if it is, we will convert it a from. Yeah. Then if this is one number, and then it is a big Indian. How we so it will be four thousand six hundred and seven. How could we get it? So it means that the first byte will be the most significant bit, and then it equals to seventeen times. Two hundred twenty-five, and then plus two five five. So it's four six zero seven. And if we do like this, if it is little ending, let's check what we will get. Well, we will get six. Sixty-five thousand two hundred ninety-seven, and then 
because it is the first byte will be the least significant. So basically, it is calculated like this: and seventeen plus two five five, then times two hundred fifty sixth. Yeah, we will get six five and two nine seven. Here B means unsigned char, so it is one byte. H is unsigned short, so it is two bytes. And if you want to know more about the format, and then you can refer to the link as I shown、um, in the article. So basically, here、uh, you can use C and for the char and the B signed char, and also for the I for the int number. And also for the L、uh, to stand for unsigned long, so that you have a lot of options here. One important、uh, thing you should keep in mind is that when you want to convert、uh, the res results correctly, you need to have the right format that matches、uh, the number you want to convert. Let let's see here.、Um, now you have this a a byte. Array, and then、oh, let's do.、Um, we, we will extend it, and then do another. And now a becomes, and it will be four bytes. Then we want to convert it. If it is. Double edge, then it should be good. You see here, and then it could get the results correctly. But if you say, okay, now it is only four, three bytes, B B B, triple B, and then well, you will get the error. Error message is unpack requires a string argument of length three because it's triple B. So, but actually the given parameter A, it has four bytes. So that's why it raises the error. That's what I want to、uh, mention here. Okay, please use the right format that matches、uh, the right length. Of bytes as、uh, as given in the second parameter. Then now we come to Python three. What happens to Python three uh, uh, bytes? It has the primitive bytes data type in Python three. So、um, now you can see here we uh, uh, switch to Python three, and then now、um, let's call it. Bytes, eighteen, and then we can check it here. Is the type of a? Yeah, it is bytes, and then let's check bytes whether it is string. False, so that it it isn't because it is different data type in Python three. How to convert? Bytes to integer in Python three is that besides the struct unpack method we、uh, mentioned in、uh, Python two point seven,、uh, you can still use that one. But also, it has、uh, the the dedicated method. Okay,、um, use the int. So let's uh, let's uh, make an example that a is So basically, it is f one and then one、uh, zero, and then we can use the method int dot from bytes a, and then we define the byte order. Let's say first to be big big Indian. 
And then we could also to mention whether uh, this number is a signed number or unsigned. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, because here we we say signed is true, so that F one it is one 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 in the uh, the first four uh, beats. So that because the first beat is one, so that it is um, a negative number, and then try again. If we say, "Oh, the sign is false," and then you can get the big number, and basically it is F one, and and then it is um, two hundred forty-one times two hundred fifty-six, and then plus. Yeah, sixteen. So it is this number. Of course, you can also make it a little uh, Indian. Try it so that it will uh, the order will be reversed, and uh, you will get this. We don't need to calculate it here again because we just introduced in the first part of our tutorial. And another uh, convenient method that you can uh, directly, um, yeah, let's say, get um, the the byte. When actually it uh, it is only uh, applicable if you can get the one byte from it, is yeah you can use index. So if if it is uh, a one, yeah. And then directly, this is, and then, then yeah, the the second byte, and then convert it to the integer. And then we, if we try, n, if we try a zero, it will be two hundred forty one. Of course, this method you can only convert one byte to the integer, and you couldn't combine the bytes, and then to get uh, the value uh, something like this, but it could be handy if you only uh, focus on one one byte. So I introduce how to convert the bytes to integer in this video. I hope you can like it, and you can also refer to my website that could tell you more details about uh, the Python uh, data type conversion. And I hope you like it, and uh, I like provide more and more high quality uh, tutorials, and also the Q A sessions in video, and also, yeah, in my website. Thank you.